What is up guys, this is Ginger Sauce here, showing you how you can uh, glitch your way to completing all the marathon and lightweight challenges. Um, this is on Karachi, and uh, I'm going to be also telling you how you can do the elevator to, uh, sorry, the prone elevator if you don't know how to do it already. So what you want to do is go up against that little uh, ledge that's sticking out there, um, aim yourself a little bit off center. Um, and then what you want to do once you're right up next to it is go prone and go to the left if you're aiming to the right and then you want to find the space in between where you can't stand up and where you can stand up and then what you want to do is you want to change your stick layout to either legacy or legacy southpaw the reason that is is because you don't want to be moving back and forth accidentally when you're moving left and right because the way elevators work is um, in between the space where you um, cannot stand up and can stand up, there's a very tiny place that you can put yourself where it'll that's the elevator that'll shoot you up and you know you can get out of the map. So what you do once you change it, uh, I use Legacy Southpaw because it works the best for me, so I only have to use the left joystick. Um, so once you get prone and are in the um, space where you cannot stand up, you want to move yourself to the right just, you know, the 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 less you can move yourself the better. And once you can stand up and you're not in the elevator, you want to move yourself back to the left very slightly. Now what I'm doing here is because uh, with the controller I was using it can, it's kind of, kind of sucky, um, what I do is aim yourself a little bit more towards 90 degrees than you were and then it opens the, or I should say widens the space the elevator will work at. So once you get it and once you go up you want to line yourself up with that ledge and move yourself left. There's a very tiny invisible ledge that you can put yourself on um, and then run and jump. Or at least I didn't jump but I was able to make it anyway. Um, now you're going to want to go on this road here but I kind of wanted to show you guys this um, just because I thought it was something cool um, outside the map. Uh, this is the uh, back lot uh, from Call of Duty Forest is the back lot yeah, construction building. Um, almost exactly. Um, I know it's kind of dark, but I wasn't really messing around with the uh, brightness settings and it wouldn't really matter any other place. Um, this is up on the second story. So, in a little bit here, I'll cut back in. Um, because basically, uh, well, I'm not gonna cut out. But um, and I don't, I don't expect to do many glitch tutorials or glitch um, videos at all. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this right now is because I don't have internet, and it was something to occupy my time, and it was something pretty cool that I could uh, figure out, and I thought I'd be. Uh, share it with you guys. Now this does work in public matches. Uh, the only, I should say, the only real problem is just, you know, not being killed when you're trying to get to that spot. So once you go up here, you'll fall through the map right about now. And uh, just keep running basically, because what you're, what you're aiming for, this isn't where you're gonna, you're gonna complete all the challenges. And I've actually sped up this part, um, just because it, running to the edge of the map seems like it takes a while but then after that you'll get those challenges pretty quick um, I think yeah I think starting from scratch um, it will take roughly two minutes of running um, to complete all the challenges and the lightweight is the challenge that takes the longest because that's 250 miles uh, for lightweight six Marathon is only 106 miles. So, uh, once you get to the edge of the black part, you'll basically fall, and you'll keep falling for forever. You can't kill yourself now. You can't really do anything. Um, once you actually get the challenges, you could probably just quit. Um, now, as you can see, I mean, I've fallen quite a ways, and I haven't gotten anything. The reason, because the reason for that is because the challenges will only be completed and pop up once you stop sprinting. So what you want to do is sprint and stop, sprint and stop, sprint and stop, you know, just like I'm doing here. 
and then that's where you'll get the uh, the XP and the and the challenge completed, things like that. So uh, that's basically it. Um, like I said, it might take you a couple minutes. Like I said, this is twice the speed. I think there's another minute and a half left, so about three minutes of running total for 250 miles. It's not bad. So. Uh, I'm going to cut out here. Um, coming up, I'll show you the titles and emblems that you unlock for those challenges. And uh, hope or wish you guys luck. Oh, I wanted to mention, because I was doing this on a fresh uh, profile, I didn't have like tactical insertion or I prefer one man uh, army. The reason for that is uh, I'll set up a LMG um, because the mobility is less so it'll help you do the elevator easier um, and then I'll use tactical insertion and one man army because I wanted um, I wanted to use a class that had a SMG when I was running uh, I don't think it makes too much of a difference but you know um, but uh, once you get to the top of the elevator it's very uh, suggest it's, uh, very important to lay a tactical insertion just in case you miss uh, the jump or anything like that. Um, and then uh, I just switched to the other, and you do need um, Commando Pro when you are jumping out there. So just uh, for warn you, kind of forgot about that. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, and uh, subscribe. Talk to you guys later.